What's going on guys? Heather over at Wheels Power Sports. Uh, today I wanted to come on and just chat with you guys. I know I've been talking with a lot of our customers recently and uh, we've had a lot of people mention that they're planning a snowmobile trip out to the mountains this season which is so cool and we're so excited to hear about it. So I thought it'd be a perfect timing to go over this Avalanche Air Pack, which is a essential piece of equipment that you will need if you're planning on doing riding out in the mountains as it could very well save your life. So today with me here, I have the Climb Aspect 16 Avalanche Air Pack. I thought I would just kind of go over this backpack a little bit, show you a few of the compartments. So we'll kind of start from top to bottom. If we access this first compartment here, I'll show you guys. This one here is kind of more of like an accessory compartment. There's a couple different pockets in here for whatever you wanted to put in there. There's another compartment back here as well. So nice, easy access compartment for whatever it is that you would like to store in there. Uh, if we move up to the top of the bag here, we actually have a hard shell goggle case compartment, which I'll show you this one, this one's pretty cool. If we undo this guy here, you can see that there's a little strap in here to kind of secure your goggles and keep those nice and safe. Uh, there's also another little pocket back here if you wanted to store your lenses, things like that. They even give you a little goggle chamois in here. Which I thought that was kind of cool. So that's the hard shell goggle compartment. And then there is, if you can notice, these little straps here on the side, these buckles are actually adjustable. So if you wanted to store something, say in between the goggle compartment and in between this little accessory compartment here too, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, moving on to the most important part of the pack, that is going to be your emergency side of the pack, which is actually marked with these red tabs here. So if you're in an emergency situation and you know, things get to be stressful, you can always remember the pack with the red tabs. Or if you need to communicate with a buddy and say, hey, that my probes, my shovel, all that stuff, it's in the pack with the red tabs. So nice, easy feature to remember. If we go ahead and undo these buckles here first, gain access. If we unzip here, you can see inside the emergency compartment of the bag here, there is a little tool bag that Climb does give you. So if you wanted to store some extra tools in here or other things for safety emergencies, whatever you would like to be able to keep in this guy here, that also comes with it free of charge, kind of a little, little bonus. I'll pop that guy up here. And then on the inside here, you can see there is a delegated pocket here for you to put your shovel and a pocket over here for you to put your probes. So that's kind of nice that they have that outlined. And then also there is this little area here on the inside too that just gives you some emergency instructions if you're trying to fly down a helicopter in an emergency situation. Things that might be easy to forget when you're under a lot of stress. So very cool that they thought of that and included that within this pack. Now, moving on to the next compartment of the pack here, this is where you're gonna have, I would say the brains of the pack. So if we undo this guy here, this is gonna be where your super capacitor, your compressor, your radio, all that good stuff's gonna be at. So in this little compartment here is where you can put your radio. And there's also a little Velcro area in here too if you wanted to thread up your radio cords and put them over whichever shoulder that you'd prefer to have your radio on. So another nice feature. Uh, over here is where you're gonna have your super capacitor. So if we undo this guy here, You can see the super capacitor in the bag. The super capacitor is basically what charges your compressor, which then uh, blows up the airbag inside of the bag here. So this is actually something that you can charge with a USB cable, which Climb does give you inside of this radio compartment here. Um, and another cool thing with the super capacitor here is that there is another extra compartment down here where you can pop out some AA batteries and those AA batteries will actually act as a way to keep your super capacitor like topped off while you're out in the field or if you were to deploy your airbag while you were out riding, um, you can actually recharge this super capacitor with those AA batteries. So I don't know how many avalanches you plan to be in in one day, but hopefully it's not one to begin with. Hopefully it's definitely not multiple, but 
Kind of a neat feature that in the event if that were to happen, you do have that backup battery supply with this. And uh, another cool feature, I'll bring you guys in actually a little bit closer to see this here. You can see a little battery indicator here so you can tell what your battery life is at, um, whether it needs to be charged. And also if you're out riding and you wanted to know what your battery life is for your super capacitor, you could just grab your buddy and say, hey, what's my super capacitor at? Because there's little indicator lights that'll shine here through the side of the pack here. Uh, they'll flash green if you're good to charge, red if you're not. Um, very cool feature with that as well. So that's going to be the brains of the pack here. And then this final pack here is actually where your airbag itself is going to be stored. So that's going to be... This compartment back here. So a note about the airbag itself, this Aspect 16 climb pack does have the new E2 Alpride airbag system. So it's gonna be a little bit lighter than the previous E1 system that they were rocking. And then it's also gonna have uh, more volume for the airbag itself, which is gonna aid in just keeping you above in an avalanche. So nice feature with that as well too. So yeah, that's basically the gist of the pack here. Uh, I'm actually gonna go get buckled up to this real quick and then I'll show you where the ripcord is and then we'll also do a test deployment as well. So let's get into that. All right guys, so I'm all vested up here now and a quick note I wanted to make is this ripcord here is actually ambidextrous. So you can have it both on the left side, right side, whatever you prefer with your cord and radio setup, you can do either or, but uh, yeah. Enough talking, let's get into it. So there you have it guys. There's all the information I got on the Aspect 16 through Climb. If you do have some questions, give us a call at the store or stop in. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Thanks guys.